My goodness. Anybody check the gravel here? Is this anybody got a Geiger counter? Hey, we should test it here. Yes, this is the free space. What little we have in Pocatello, most of it has uranium on it. At least it's owned by the city. Yes. Anyways, here they are, the whole group of them here. Steve Brown, Fraser, Jim Johnston. The Pro Uranium Group. Yes, the Pro Cover Up. The Pro Do Not Tell. Steve Brown delivers. He delivers uranium. Yeah, he works with Jim Johnson. He'll deliver it right to your door. Here's a shot, just as a reminder. Yes. Roger Bray. Part of that group there, Brown and Johnson. Yes, Roger Bray never stood up to vote, to bring up, to object to any way or form publicly regarding the uranium contamination in our community. Not one peep that I remember. Not one little peep. Here we are at this corner of East Center and South 17th. Here's a classic example. I'm no more than 100 feet away from uranium deposits right behind me. And here we are, people supporting people, or I should say people supporting criminals that are running for office who know felony and misprison, know the uranium properties they sell, know as city council members that they are allowing it to be sold without people knowing it, just for a profit, just for their points. And here we are, a bunch of them all together here, Jim Johnson, Steve Brown, Jim Johnson selling property, Steve knowing about it, trying to bull crap his way out of things here, always knowing about it, but is so ignorant about really what it does to our health, children's lives, pets, people. And Alan Fraser, some people just choose to not want to know, don't want to deal with it because, well, what can I say? They want to remain ignorant or they really don't care. And so when they get people to put their signs up on their lawn, are these people now felony and misprison too? Are these people contributing to the death and cancer contamination in our community? because they are doing nothing about it. Well, if they didn't know before, they know now. Here we are, politicians, red signs. Yes, Jim Johnston for Pocatello City Council, seat one. Let's keep the uranium here. Let's not tell anybody in this apartment complex. Maybe the owner gave him permission for the sign. But what about the, the uranium in the alley here? What about the uranium, you know, it's definitely all over this community. Just again, duping people into what death no future maybe these are college students wanting somehow to have a future maybe get married have children that won't be mutated you know here we are a situation again it's because it's the main drag yeah you get the signs out the big red ones it should say nuclear fallout that happens here a lot that's what it should say. And please don't play in the gray stuff. That's uranium ore and the whole decay chain. Don't breathe any one of those dust, single dust particles because they have zillions and zillions of cancer-causing particles in them. Each little tiny dust particle. So, here we are. Politics in Pocatello as usual, or do we get rid of the people who are breaking the law and ignoring the morals and ethics of their own religions, their own conscience, over a buck, over keeping it quiet, rather than go for billions of dollars for cleanup for people, because what, the money won't be in their hands?